Hey there, Pisces, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of January 24th through January 30th, 2022. And we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe wants you to keep in mind this week. Also, Pisces, please remember if someone is strongly energetically connected to you, they may show up in your reading. So take the energies as they resonate. They may be reversible between you and your person. Oh my gosh, no, that's way too many cards, Spirit. Way too many cards. I'm going to shuffle this again. flips over or falls on the table, I take it. Otherwise, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine, fine. I'll take them. Pisces, your cards are being mouthy today. All right, so the main energy for your reading this week is the Seven of Cups. You've got options. You've got a lot more options than I think you realize when it comes to a particular situation, and I feel like it's a love connection. But we'll see what this is when we clarify. In the recent past, you get the Four of Wands, the Chariot, and the Three of Pentacles. There's a really, really strong bond showing up here for you and somebody else. And I see you both moving towards this connection, moving towards working together. Now, this could be somebody brand new, although I feel like with the Four of Wands, there's a little bit of history here. Um, where you and this person may have broken up or may have not really gotten to the point where it was a relationship. And now in the recent past, you're coming back together to try to work on rebuilding that trust, working with each other, maybe starting off as a friendship and seeing what can develop from that or how you can move forward to bring back the trust into a connection. In the current situation, you get the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the King of Wands. Very, very cool. You progress from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands, and in between this progression is the Ace of Swords. You've gained a clarity or an understanding about something here. It's almost like, I don't know exactly what caused this clarity or what caused you to realize this, but whatever it is, it definitely caused an intensifying um, energy. So the passion that you had for someone or something intensified. It grew or is growing in the current situation. In the near future, you get the Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like something's coming to an end here in the near future, but what's coming to an end is a bunch of bad stuff, so that's good. You have a lot of regret and remorse tied up to past energies. There's a lot of defensiveness and guarding energy, which is coming to an end. You're showing me at least like, okay, I'm done with these energies. I don't want to deal with them anymore. And so usually when we get rid of regret, remorse, um, you know, trying to guard and protect ourselves, we replace them with love which is a good thing, but we'll see when we clarify. Let's start off by clarifying the Seven of Cups, which is the main energy for your reading this week. And please, Spirit, let's keep the cards on the table. We all have some mouthy cards today, so I don't want them flying everywhere. The Seven of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. I feel like what you're looking at in terms of options here is does something have the potential to give me the long-term happy stability that I want? And I feel like you're doing this from a very logical perspective. You may have several different options in terms of who you're dating, or there may be some confusion around a specific individual where you're not sure if they can give you the lifestyle, if they can give you the emotional support, if they can give you, you know, that long-term stable relationship that you want. And so you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm going to take my emotions out of this and I'm going to look at this from a very logical perspective a very emotionally detached perspective, like what makes sense to me here? And while you're doing that, I don't really see you taking any action. I don't see you moving towards this person. I don't see you moving away from them. So you're just kind of like waiting. You're like, I know I'll get there. I just need some more time. And you're giving yourself that time. Let's take a look at your recent past. I'm going to start off by clarifying this four of wands for you in the recent past. Four of Wands is clarified by the Justice, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands. There's definitely a very strong connection showing up here for you and somebody else. It's a very strong bond between you and this person. However, I feel like you don't feel or you don't you don't think that there's any balance or fairness in this situation. It's almost like you and this person keep coming across this like wall where it's like everything's good, everything's good, everything's good. And then that one thing, you know, that one pain point comes up. And kaboom, conflict, drama, disagreement. 
you're over this. I see you totally being over this. But for some reason, I also don't see you really wanting to let go of this connection. And again, this could be something that happened in the past that caused a lot of conflict because this is your recent past energy. But I feel like you just want balance. You want equality in this connection. And this other person just ain't meeting you halfway. And you're kind of like, you know what? Okay, fine. I'm, I can't keep doing this. Like, I can't keep fighting with you over the same stupid petty bullshit. Let's take a look at the chariot for you in the recent past. The chariot is clarified by the six of cups, the magician, the nine of cups. Yeah, all you want is you're trying to manifest happiness here. You feel that this is a soul connection between you and somebody else. This is a divine connection between you and this other person. And you're just manifesting happiness. You're like, yo, can we get past all this conflict, all this drama? Like, can we not move past this and just move towards happiness? And I see you just being like, universe, help me out. Like, this is what I want. You're manifesting this. You're asking the universe to step in and help you make, you know, just to be happy in this connection, to feel emotionally fulfilled, which ain't too much to ask, to be honest. Let's take a look at the Three of Pentacles for you in the recent past. The Three of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Chariot. You just got the Chariot tied up to this manifestation. I feel like you are moving in the direction of your manifestation, but this person, like you're, deter you're showing me here, I'm determined to make this work. I'm willing to, you know, do whatever it takes in the recent past to work with this person. I come in, give 50%. They come in, give 50%. I want things to change. I want the current energy between us to change. You're very, very determined to make this work here, Pisces. Like, you just want to be happy in this connection. I don't see you trying to leave it. I don't see you trying to, like, end it. I don't see you trying to even start drama. I feel like this other person is bringing the drama, and you're literally just, like, trying to figure out a way to make this work. And you're being very level-headed about this. You're trying to move in a very good direction. Like, you're doing all the right things. I just, I can't see this person's energy, so I don't know if they met you halfway or not in the recent past. Let's take a look at the Knight of Wands for you in the current situation. The Knight of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Death, and the Two of Swords. Okay, I feel like you do want new love. You want a brand new beginning in love with this person or within just in general. But for some reason, because this other person is showing up as very closed off, as very like not open or possibly not even willing to work with you, you're kind of starting to give up on that idea and you're letting that whole desire that you have of starting over from a very loving place, you're kind of just letting that die out. You're like, you know what? Like, I can't push this boulder up this hill by myself. Like either you work with me or you don't and you're not really working with me. So, you know, I feel like it's slowly dying out for you. It's not completely dead. You still do want to start over from a very loving place with this person, but they're showing up as very closed off which is making you feel emotionally closed off and just not really seeing how this whole thing can play out, even though you are in the recent past putting in a lot of effort into making it work. Let's take a look at the Ace of Swords for you in the current situation. And you got a lot of Aces, dude. You have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. All you're missing is the Ace of Wands and you have all Aces. Aces are all about brand new unexpected beginnings and the ace of swords here is clarified by the sun the ace of pentacles and the lovers you are just you want a brand new fresh start with this person you want happiness you want to feel that love and for some reason i feel like this person in the current situation is finally meeting you halfway we're gonna have to see when we clarify the king of wands but this is beautiful energy this is love this is intimacy this is an intense connection this is happiness it's like a brand new beginning you get the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles like those are two aces for just one one clarification so really really good happy energy in the current situation let's clarify this king of wands for you in the current situation and see if this person is actually working okay all right three cards i'll take it the Ace of, or sorry, the King of Wands is clarified by the Star, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. I feel like this person is working with you, but you want more from them. You're, it's almost like you're asking them energetically to 
Come on, give me some more. I know you have some more to give. I know that the love is there. I know that you feel the intensity that I feel. Show me, show me that love. Show me that passion that I know is in there. And I see it kind of like hurting you a little bit and emotionally that this person is not expressing what you know is inside. But again, I, I do feel like they are meeting you halfway. I feel like, you know, just as you're about to give up on this, this person's like, okay, let me let me meet Pisces halfway. Let me work with them. But they're not showing up to the full capacity that they have to give. And I feel like you're stressing out in the current situation because you know they have more to give, but they're not showing it for some reason. And that's kind of like... It hurts you. It sucks. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see what this Ten of Swords is for you in the near future. The Ten of Swords is clarified by the Six of Swords, <coughs> excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Judgment. I feel like you're kind of feeling a little bit defeated here in the near future. You're toying around with the idea of maybe just walking away from this whole thing you're giving me an energy here of this is a lot for me to do by myself. You're pushing, you're doing most of the work, or at least that's how you feel. And you're kind of just like, you know what, maybe I should just give up on this. Maybe I should just completely walk away from this. And I feel like you're taking your time to slowly come to an understanding and make a decision within yourself. Because I feel like here in the near future, you want to make sure that if you walk away this time, like it's for good. It's for good for good and you don't want to be dramatic and just be like, okay, I'm leaving, but then come back. So I feel like you're really taking a breather here and just being like, okay, do I, should I actually walk away from this? Is this what I actually want to do? Let's take a look at the five of cups for you in the near future. You know what? No, I'm going to clarify the Seven of Wands before I speak on this. Otherwise, I'm about to throw your person under the bus. Okay, fine. They get a pass. The Five of Cups in the near future is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, which you get again in the near future, which is why I clarified it, and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person, this is your person's energy, where right as you're about to give up in the near future, they communicate. They come in and they say something or they send you a text message, which again, puts you right back into that energy of, okay, let's work together. Because you got the three of pentacles in the recent past and then you get it again in the near future. You want to work things through with this person. I really, Pisces, like I'm going to give you mad props. You are patient here. You are really trying to do everything to make this work, to make this connection work. You don't want to let it go. And I feel like in the near future, you're coming to the understanding of, okay, maybe I do need to let this go. Maybe I need to walk away. And just as you're about to do that, your person snaps into shape and they're like, okay, Pisces, let's work together. I'm ready. I'm willing to do this. What I did in the past kind of sucked. I'm sorry for how I acted, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I see you wanting to work with this person, but your guard is up. I don't feel like you fully trust them. I feel like you're kind of like, okay, I hear what you have to say. Yes, I'm willing to work with you. Yes, we can work on re rebuilding the trust. But your guard is up. You're kind of like, eh, you got to show me before I fully, fully trust you. For the Seven of Wands in the near future, you get the Page of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Cups, or the Queen of Wands, I'm sorry. Um, again, like I said, even though you are defensive in the near future, you are open to this. It's a little bit difficult for you to keep your heart emotionally open throughout all of this because I feel like this person has put you through the ringer. I'm not going to lie. Like, I really see you doing the most to make this work. You're coming from very good energy and this person just kind of seems to like for whatever reason I can't see their energy I don't know why they're not fully like showing you everything that they have they're not giving everything that they have and so even though you are on guard in the near future your heart is still open you are still accessing this from a very loving place <clears throat> not easy for you I'm gonna be honest it's not easy for you because I feel like you don't trust this person but you do still care a lot about them and you are very very attracted to them I mean, let's be real, this person's probably very, very hot. So that is allowing you to remain a little bit more open and really work with this. But man, you, your energy here is incredible. So mature, so open, so willing to make it work, like impressive. Let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this week, Pisces. It'll take time, yeah. From the universe, you get the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Temperance. 
this reconciliation is going to happen. You and this person are coming back together because you both feel love for each other. You love them. They love you. There is an intense connection here. There's a lot of love here. This reconciliation is going to happen. It's just going to take a little bit more time. It's not quite time yet. In the current situation, I see little bits of like this person contributing energetically. They're not fully there yet. I feel like in the near future, though, with divine timing at play, it'll happen. Let's close off your reading, Pisces, with an oracle card. Show the world the real you. I feel like this is a message for your person, not for you, okay? I feel like your person needs to open up and show you everything that they have. The real them, how they really feel. Not this facade or this half-assed attempt at, I don't know why they're not opening up. I don't know why they're not showing you everything that they have within them. Because there's a lot. There's love here. Like, you get the Queen of Cups, which is mutual love. And for some reason, I feel like you're not seeing this person's energy. Because I'm not seeing this person's energy, so... Yeah, come on, Pisces person. Open up. Open up. Show us the real you. So, Pisces, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you again for tuning in, and I'll see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Pisces.